A lot of designers, especially those coming from Photoshop, use Figma to create and design marketing materials like banner, hero graphics, or promo teasers. And they do these designs in a way that they would do within the Photoshop. They don't use the auto layout, they don't use the constraint to create more logical layout. So everything positioned in the canvas in a random way. I have faced with the same problem recently when I was working on a project that was supposed to create a lot of marketing materials for a campaign of a brand. I brought this example that you can see right now from that project. And I'm gonna use the constraint and auto layout to create more usable and scalable layout. This is when I scale the design before I use the constraints and auto layout. You can see that how easily the design is gonna get broken. For having more responsive layout, we need to define the resizing and repositioning behavior of every element within our canvas. So if we change the size of a canvas, what will happen to the position and the size of every element within it. In Figma, we use auto layout or constraints to define these behaviors. In a current use case that I'm working on, I would like to have the freedom to position every element in a way that I want in my design. So I'm not gonna use auto layout, which is going to limit my options. Instead of that, I'm going to assign absolute positioning for every element in my scene, and then use the constraints to define the resizing and repositioning behavior of them. I can do this by pinning the edge of my element to any edge of its own parent layer. Select the element and go to the position properties panel in the design panel, and then do the alignment. And you can use the constraint menu to pin your element to anywhere you want. I have done this for all the elements that I had in my scene and here you can see the result. You can watch the full tutorial in my YouTube channel.